Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Happy Friday, hope you guys are all having a great day and looking forward to Newcastle back in action tomorrow at St James's Park where we take on Liverpool in our final game ahead of the Carabao Cup final next weekend. Eddie Howe has said that his players will be 100% focused on the game tomorrow. We will concentrate on the final next week. Um, but the game is half five kickoff. I will be there. I'll have all of the usual pre-match, post-match vlog. And hopefully I'll be smiling and celebrating tomorrow night. Uh, Liverpool are the only team Newcastle have lost against in the Premier League this season. And even then, we shouldn't have lost. We should have won that one. So, a bit of revenge. Show them what we can do at St. James's Park tomorrow. I really hope so. Uh, in today's video, we'll, we will go through all of the usual stuff, what we hope to see from Newcastle tomorrow, what we expect to see from Liverpool tomorrow. Eddie Howe has also done his press conference where he's spoken about a whole host of things. The final uh, injuries, potential start for Gordon tomorrow as well. Eddie Howe has said he wants to entertain. He wants to score goals in front of the home crowd and I hope we will see that. And we'll finish off with lineups and predictions at the end of the video as well. So be sure to let me know your predictions for tomorrow night's game down below. So we'll start off with a little bit on Liverpool. Uh, clearly, they are not having the greatest of seasons uh, by their standards anyway. Currently sat down in ninth place at the moment. I was having a look at this. Now, Liverpool are 19 points off the top spot. They are 14 points off the bottom three. So, yeah, as I say, by their standards, you know, you would not expect Liverpool to be closer to the bottom three at this point in the season than the top three. Um, having said that, they are uh, not that far away from Newcastle. Nine points behind. And look, Liverpool have still got great players. You look at Salah, um, Gakpo's come in. I know Nunes has taken a bit of um, warming up to get going, but they've got some good players in there. And, you know, for Newcastle, hoping to finish you know, in a you know top four, top five, top six spot, beating Liverpool or even not letting Liverpool get an extra three points on us. You know, a result, a point. It's keeping a, a team who are a threat, you know, to our positions in the league, you know, at bay. Because as much as they're not playing great right now, they're still a good side. And, you know, going on a three win, four win, five win, six win streak and all of a sudden, they're back up there. Um, so, yeah, I think the big thing for us is to go out there and perform tomorrow. Um, Newcastle have been really good at home. Eddie Howe has said, you know, that teams have been coming to St. James's Park and defending very well. As I mentioned, he was asked about tactics and could he potentially change tactics to try and, you know, increase the score rate because it's of late. We have, you know, struggled with that cutting edge in front of goal. Um, and I'm hoping tomorrow we can see a little bit of, you know, what we've seen over the years. Newcastle, Liverpool generally are, are used to, over the years, have some great games. 3-2, 4-4, you know, loads and loads of goals. If we can just get some goals in the back of the net tomorrow, I would really like to see it. I mean, in terms of Newcastle, go out there and do what we've been doing. Try and stay tight at the back. Keep them away from our goal. And as I've mentioned already... We've only lost once this season, and it was against them. So, yeah, I wouldn't call it a little bit of revenge. Maybe you could call that if you wanted to. But for me, it's just to go out there and have that bite, you know, back at home, in front of the home crowd, a bit of a bit of bite, a bit of what can we do here? Let's get at them. As Eddie Howe said, he's, he's trying to keep the thoughts of the cup final of the players in the back of their minds for now. We'll talk about that next week. He actually said, if you're walking into this Liverpool game with a 50-50 mind on Liverpool in the final, then you'll struggle. You'll struggle to keep that concentration. And I think he mentioned the home crowd. He mentioned how, how good we've been with the fans, with the displays. And I think it's a big thing for the fans to get up and really push them on in this one. You know, I think we had a, 
quite a um, a tough couple of weeks with getting to the final. You know, it was emotional for, you know, the players, for the fans, for everyone. Now it's let's get the job done and we'll talk about the final next week. Um, in Eddie House press conference, as I mentioned, he was he spoke about St. James's Park. He spoke about the atmosphere and he spoke about the fact that Wolf Flags will be doing a Bobby Robson display for tomorrow's game. He would have been 90 years old tomorrow. Eddie Howe went on to say that I don't believe, I think he said that he um, was never lucky enough to meet Bobby Robson, but has heard fantastic stories. Loads of stuff coming out on social media of old interviews and, you know, the great one with Shearer, how it, you know, saved his career at Newcastle. Yeah, and and, and and I know we're not talking about the final because we're talking about Liverpool, but, you know, people creating flags to take down a Wembley um, with Bobby Robson on, and there's, there's loads of great stuff like that. So I think it will be, yeah, a, a big display tomorrow, lots of emotion from the fans, and hopefully the players can go out there. Yeah, and as I've said, I think the big thing for me is just come out of that game going, yes, we've done it, or... Not even necessarily a win. Or, you know what it is? We don't ask for a team that wins. We ask for a team that goes out and gives it 100%. And I just feel like the last two games, West Ham wasn't great. Bournemouth, last game, argued by some as one of the worst performances of the season. And I know we miss Bruno. And I can't wait to see him back for the final next week. But... We've got to dig in and we've just got to go and show that passion and that fight and come out of it, even if there isn't a result, come out and go, we were good tonight. We were good and we're going to take that on and we're going to do it again in the final with Bruno as well. That's the big thing for me. It's not necessarily get the three points, get the draw. That's what we want. But at the very least, you know, coming out against the Bournemouth and I was like, you know, we miss Bruno. We weren't on it. Isaac didn't have the greatest game. We need to come out and go. We gave it our all there. That's the big thing for me. Uh, but Eddie Howe went on to talk about a few other things. He spoke about injuries. Um, Willick is not expected to play in this game and is also doubtful for the final. When we haven't got Bruno because of the red card, midfield's a big question mark for tomorrow. So we'll come on to that in the lineups. He was also asked about Maxi and Almiron, who we said are both fine or training and will be available at the weekend. Wilson is also thought to be available for the weekend as well. Now, as I mentioned, Isaac didn't have the greatest game. Could he bring Wilson back or will he stick with Isaac? We'll talk about that in the lineups in a moment. And as I mentioned, he, he talked about tactics and bringing goals to the game. I think it's a great shout for Gordon to be getting in there and, and getting a chance to show what he can do in this team. Now, in terms of lineups, I'll put them on my lineup on screen now. I think there's... Loads of debate in this one of what Eddie Howe's going to do. It's going to be Pope and Neck. Pope in Neck? Pope in Gull uh, with Trippier, Shaw, Botman, Byrne. It's said that Target is now back and available for this game. Byrne hasn't been... I would, I would possibly say that since we're qualified for the final, Byrne has dropped off a little bit and it's not that he's not... Wearing his heart on his maybe he's wearing his heart on his sleeve too much. I feel like he's got a little bit sloppy on the ball. Is it a chance to give Target a go, rest burn before the final? But really, you want to have your players having it. You want Burn to come out and have an absolute um, incredible game against Liverpool and take that confidence in. It's not going to help his confidence if he goes. Well, by the way, mate, can you sit on the bench? You'll be in for the final. You know, but can you have a rest? So it's it's a bit of a fifty fifty there. I could understand either way. Um, but that would probably stick with Burn midfield. Now, your guess is as good as mine on this one. It's going to be Longstaff and Joe Linton nailed on. Bruno's got his red. Shelby's gone. Uh, Willock's not going to be available. The final's all right, because the final will be Bruno, Longstaff um, and Joe Linton. Bruno will play that role in between the two, and they'll, they'll hold the ground. For this one, either you bring Anderson in, who hasn't really had the game time... Or, for me, going down the middle. Basically, try and play what we'll do in the final. Yeah, but it's it's tough to say because Bruno normally plays that kind of more deep-line role. Are we going to suddenly change it up and ask him to play the more Willock role? Or can you try and ask Longstaff to do it? I mean, he's got his shooting boots on. Now, maybe he can. I would probably go Gordon. But I could see Anderson as well. I, to try and stick with the Eddie Howe tactics, Anderson would 
potentially fit it better because as much as Anderson wants to go forward as well, he's not Gordon. He's not going to try and play, you know, right up there in the box or at least Eddie Howe can try and tell him not to. You can't play Gordon in hold midfield. Like that's, it's not happening. I think Anderson could do it. But he's not had the game time. He's, you let me know what you think. I've, I've put Gordon in, but unless Eddie Howe tries to bring Almer on into the middle, I mean, there's options, but it's just not quite clear on what we're going to do, to be honest. So I've gone Gordon, Almer on right, Maxi left, and I've left Isaac up top. There's question marks on whether you could go Isaac left, Wilson up front if he's available. Isaac didn't have a great game against Bournemouth. I've been shouting to get Isaac on the pitch because Wilson hadn't been firing and he gets his chance. It didn't look the best, but every team's going to suffer when you don't have your best player. If Bruno's not there, he's not able to play Almer on the through ball, play Maxi on the through ball, the one-twos with Isaac into the box. You know, if you're missing your best player, whether it was Isaac, Wilson or... You know, Humpty Dumpty, they're not going to have a great game when your best player isn't available. So, and because Wilson's just coming back, I think he goes with Isaac. But those are my lineups there. You let me know your thoughts down below. Normally, it's just a question mark over who's going to play left midfield. There's quite a bit to talk about today on that one. So you let me know what you would go with and let me know your predictions as well. I mentioned high scoring. You know, if we could win 3-2 and take a three points and goals galore and end-to-end -end into a big, confident boom to next weekend, I'd, I'd take it right now. That would be my ideal scenario. Yeah, yeah, we'll concede a few, but it's all part of the game. It's the up and down. It's, it's, it's the winner at the end. But because we aren't scoring freely at the moment, and because we are defending well, I would be more reserved 1-0. They aren't playing great, you know. It's it's just one. It's one of those things where you think, is a draw, you know? Could it one one? Still a good side, but I'll back us though. I'll go one nil Newcastle. Two nil would be good as well. You let me know your thoughts on the game against Liverpool down below. As I've mentioned, if you've not subscribed and you're still watching now, twelve minutes later, be sure to do so. So close to forty thousand subscribers. Uh, and I've got a big special planned as well. Not that, well, I'm, I'm going down to Wembley next weekend. Hopefully that'll be special in itself. And there's loads of content coming next week on the big build up to Wembley. Um, so yeah, be sure to look out for all that. And then as I've mentioned, I'll be at the game tomorrow, pretty much post-match. And as I've said, hopefully I'll be smiling and singing uh, by tomorrow night. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and I'll catch you later.